What is up everybody? Welcome back. Um, today we are going to put the Traxxas TRX4M light kit um, into the trailer. Part number 9790 um, TRX4M trailer lights kit. Um, should be pretty straightforward, but we'll give a quick look at the, wow, that stuff wanted out of there bad. <laughs> now it's like, I don't even know if that's all of it. We'll find out. That looks like all of it. Simple uh, one page style instructions here. Look at that. Feed the left and right LED taillight housing assemblies from the toolbox through the trailer frame Position the power wiring harness into the slot in front of the toolbox as shown. Place the toolbox on the trailer frame and push down until it snaps into place. So we've got a toolbox here. We've got, this looks like the trailer plug. So we will bring that down like it says and that comes out of this slot here. Easy peasy. One, two, through the trailer frame, like it says. Done. That's kind of cool looking, huh? Little toolbox there and then the wiring plug coming out the front of it. We might have to paint that lid just to kind of give it a little detail, but easy. Step two, route both LED tail light wiring harnesses through the channels in the underside of the trailer frame Install the housing assemblies onto the left and right taillight posts with the included 3.6 millimeter CCs. So let's drop this stuff here. There is two screws here, easy peasy. Let's flip the trailer upside down. like one and two you guys see that there just sliding them right over the posts that are there I got to get a tool not that one This one. I love this Traxxas toolkit. It fits so many of my trucks, whether they're Traxxas or not. And when it comes to Traxxas, whether it's a TRX4, a TRX6, these TRX4Ms, I've never needed anything other than what's in this pouch. So, bravo, Traxxas. And we're just gonna screw this down in here till we get a little snug. 
felt that. This is just going into plastic, so there's no need to get too wild. Snug. Okay. Step three. Remove the trailer hitch from the rear bumper. Retain and reuse the two two and five eighths button head cap screws. Oh, this wiring plug's gonna bolt into that. So, fair enough. We'll set that off to the side for now with all these little bits. And this trailer is going on my Bronco. This Bronco has the scale light kit in it. And I don't know, it's the one that I usually pull this trailer with. So the Bronco gets the trailer plug. The TRX4 Defender, which also has its light kit in it, um, it's gonna get the light bars, but my local hobby shop doesn't have those in yet. So yeah, that's on hold for right now. So again, I gotta pull this bumper back to the Traxxas toolkit, get this small guy out. And pull the bumper. Two screw bumper off, and then we need to remove the hitch. And these screws are different, so the ones that go into the hitch are thicker. So don't don't screw that up. Keep track of your screws. There's the hitch. And then uh, step four. Uh, insert the black connector from the included Y harness into the wire mount as shown. So here's the Y harness. Black connector. Match the diagram. And that's in till it clicked. I hope you guys saw that, sorry, I don't know. But anyway, Y harness to the connector. Then we go back to hooking this up. And it's this and this. And the hitch, tiny little screws. Remember, these are the bigger ones. First one's in, second one. Is in. Look at how clean that looks, guys. Just the hitch and then the little trailer plug right next to it. Really cool. And blah, blah, blah. That looks like that's a wrap on all of that. So we can put the bumper back on. Oh, which way do we want to go? We want to probably come up. Up and through, I would assume. I mean, that would only make sense, right? Does it say? I mean, we better look. Yeah, that's got to be right. That's got to be right. So we can put these screws back in. Just until we're snug. Got it? I don't like to... You don't got to get carried away with these... screws, especially when you're going into plastic. Okay. 
perfect. And then this plug is going to go into the available port on the ESC. And then the body is going to go into this new port from the Y harness. And then just for good measure, we'll make sure that we still have lights. There we go. Yep. So good. That's all dialed. Again, super clean look with that trailer plug. I like that. Uh, then we need to go... Oh, we kind of skipped a bunch of stuff in, stuff in step two. So, hey, do, uh, do it your way, bud, because I didn't. The instructions show that this rail is slotted for the wiring kit, and mine is not. I do not have the slots for the wire. Let's take one of these. These things are very small, and they just are like for compression fitting to hold the wire in this track. So I'm trying to get my wire in there nice and flat. There we go. And then I push that in there. See how that's retained retained there okay then we're gonna move around that's kind of a bummer that mine's not slotted I mean I guess I could get the Dremel out maybe and just give her a give it a slot so again I'm just working the wire here to keep everything nice and neat if I had the slots like the trailer I believe is supposed to maybe I got this trailer like right when it came out so maybe they thought about the light kit later if that even makes any sense really two more guys two more just get them in where I can that all looks pretty good. Wires are fairly hidden. Kind of bummed about that slot deal, but whatever. We're not going to get too worked up about it. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. Uh, plug the trailer into the deal and you should have lights. Pretty straightforward. Let's get some of this crap out of the way. Put our tools back and let's go ahead and put the battery in, transmitter on, Everything is in work and order. Let's move the Defender out of the way. I got reverse lights, brake lights. All my headlights are working. Let's back up to this trailer. And then what we're gonna do so you guys can see, we're going to put the trailer on the ball. And then we've got three prong. Two on the top, one down. So it's going to go like 
so and we're gonna fit this right in here So you don't get a really long lead here. Well, maybe that'll kind of stretch out over time, but anyway, look at that. We got lights. Brake lights, they get brighter. Reverse lights. Very cool, man. What do you guys think of that? I'm a fan. That's awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. We, uh, that's really cool. Um, lights installed on my Traxxas TRX 4M trailer. I like that go, brake, reverse, running, brake, or sorry, running lights, brake lights, reverse lights. Nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this. I got more TRX4M stuff coming. I kind of told you about uh, the light bars coming for this. They're not in yet, but they should be coming. And if you can see the workbench, there might be a little hint as to what else is in store. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.